All right, it's Memorial Day, so got the wife in the tractor, got the daughter in the skid steer, and the problem with having a 14-year-old daughter is that's a boy, and you know, that's how that goes. But at least we're trying to make him somewhat useful, and he's learning how to use a piece of equipment. I think he's crazy nervous right now because he's afraid he's going to break something, which is good. It's always good to keep him on their toes. So we're just going to work here for a couple of hours, trying to get some stuff done, really just trying to move the rest of the barn out of the way now that we got it torn down. And surprisingly, it didn't rain that much here, which is great. So we're getting mulch out into the blueberry patch as well. So we're going to keep going. The big excavator batteries are dead, so we're not going to be using that one today. And I'm going to be doing some other maintenance, but we got stuff moving and it feels productive around here. All right, while everyone else is out running equipment, I'm doing a bunch of maintenance, and so let me show you what's going on here. This is um, our 12-foot brush hog that's been broken for a while. Just one side doesn't work, and it's pretty obvious why it doesn't work. So, we can see that the gear down here, all the teeth are completely worn off, and you can see metal broken off in the bottom, and there's at least one gear broken off here, one tooth broken off the gear here, but like literally everything else is worn off. So I do know you can get replacement parts for this, so that's good. It's a Bush Hog brand brush hog, um, so parts are readily available. They are kind of expensive, but um, at least it's not the whole gear housing. It's just a couple of gears inside the gear housing. The problem is, is I don't actually really know how to get this out of here. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend the rest of the day, we got a couple hours here before we're gonna call it quits, trying to figure out how to get this out of here and, um, and then I can order the right parts to get it fixed and then we can put it back into service, which would be great. By the way, the boy, he's doing all right. Uh, this is how we test him out around here to see if they're uh, worthy of dating our daughter. And he's doing okay so far, but you know, you never can trust these boys. All right, so I did, I haven't taken it apart, but I have figured out how to get this apart and it requires me to get that roll pin out and I don't have the right size punch and even if I did it, it doesn't want to move. So um, today is not the day to be doing that. I'm, I'm just going to figure out which parts I need to order and get them ordered. That way when I do take it apart, I can put it right back together. I was able to find a video online. It wasn't necessarily Brush Hog, but these gearboxes are all kind of built the same way. So it did show you how to take it apart once you get it disconnected from the drive shaft. And uh, it requires having some replacement seals because you kind of destroy them taking it apart in order to put it back together and then I need those two gears because they're well you saw them they're trash so I'm gonna take down the the serial number plate here and then take a picture of the inside I've already found the exploded diagram for this gearbox in order to be able to find the parts I'm gonna do that today and put that uh, gear cover case back on or gear case cover back on and call it a day on this project and then move on to something else all right we got about 30 minutes before we're going to call it quits for today because it is memorial day so we don't need to work all day the rest of the weekend was full of babies and baby shower and family so it was pretty busy but i'm going to jump in the smaller tractor and get rose till that liz has dropped the pine bark mulch on and then we'll call it quits She's still rolling with the mulch, and the kids are still back there playing with equipment, and that's going pretty well. All right, well, we are approaching the final countdown until baby arrives. So our biggest priority right now is getting the site ready for the barn. Yeah, I took a couple days off this week. Uh, Thursday and Friday so I'm going to use those two days to really focus on getting everything that's remaining on the ground for the barn out of the way and get the, the, the site cleared off and then scraping off all the topsoil and cleaning up the mess and getting it ready for clay. Hopefully I'll have enough time to also stake out the the pad size so that you know we can locate it. We don't have to get it perfect because the builder is going to situate the barn on top of that pad. So, uh, but we do need to get it close. So hopefully by the end of the weekend, we'll have that done as well. 
Yeah. Yep. And you're gonna do tractoring? Yes. Yep, I'm just gonna keep going with the blueberry beds. Might as well pick away at that while we can. <laughs> yep. Yep, Saturday morning, we're gonna have to make a quick run, uh, auction run to pick some stuff up. But that, well, it'll take a little while. I was gonna say, a quick auction run? <laughs> well, it's a bit of a drive, but. It'll be worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Um, yep, and I got to get the big X, got to get the batteries back in the big X. They think, I think they still need a couple days to finish charging and then get that up and running and out of the way. And yeah, just much tidy up around here as much as possible. I'm, I'm sure we'll break a few things this Probably. weekend as well. <laughs> we usually do. That's kind of how it goes around here. <laughs> it's the new name of our farm. That's right. <laughs> it's how it goes around here. <laughs> so stick around. That's what we're going to see going on. See ya. All right, took a couple of days off from work, try to get some stuff done around here and just checking on what, what we actually were able to get done uh, earlier in the week. So we got all the metal moved, it's here in a pile and got quite a bit of construction debris here in a pile. We need to pick some of the garbage out of there, but um, otherwise it's mostly just wood and lumber. So let's walk over here and see what is left of the barn the big excavator is currently not working because the batteries are dead. It has a sh like a, a drain in it and I forgot to disconnect them. So they're out getting charged and they take literally forever to charge. So they're like, each one of them is like the size of four car batteries. So um, it takes like days, literal days to charge those things. So that is not operational at, a moment, at the moment. Um, but here we are. It's a bit of a mess over here. This is all that's really left. Uh, there's kind of wood kind of scattered all over. It's a, this is kind of messy. I have to go around here and pick this up. But you can see there is actually not a lot left of the barn. Gonna have to pick out those cinder blocks because they got to go a different place than the wood. But not bad. Not bad. We had that boy over here and uh, we made him real nervous and also made him do some work and he did he did all right not sure how i feel about him just yet uh, teenage boys you know especially when they're interested in your teenage daughter but um he at least made himself useful you can see there's still quite a bit to clean up back here but i'll come through and i'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon here uh, just picking this all apart and putting it into a pile and then using the grapple on the front of the skid steer to move it up into the bigger pile to consolidate so we can get it out of here and then we can get this cleared off. I mean, I'm feeling really good about this. It is absolutely gorgeous today. It's one of these days in North Carolina that you, you dream about. It's maybe mid seventies, can't be any warmer than that. Very low humidity, it's partly cloudy so the sun's not beating down but it's still got that beautiful North Carolina blue sky. It's really great. So let me get the small excavator fueled up and we'll get to it. All right, it's the end of the day. I'm tired and I'm standing in the middle of where the barn used to be and you can see there is nothing left, which is pretty awesome. There's a big old pile there, a small pile there, and an even smaller pile there. And of course some under the excavator bucket because still can't move that yet, but get those batteries charged up, get that out of here. And then tomorrow, 
Tomorrow we'll be moving those piles up closer to the front. That way it's easier to get out of here and we can get this all prepped. I'll come through here with a bucket and scrape off the remaining garbage. And um, then scrape off any topsoil, fill in, start filling in holes, and then call someone up to start bringing in some, some clay. Start building this up. We'll have to learn how to use a laser transit. I don't know how to use one. I have one, but I don't know how to use it. That way we can get this site pad level. We'll have to measure it out, of course, make sure it's square and get it all set up. But yeah, that was a pretty good day. I really didn't get started till after lunch. So I think I put in oh, maybe four hours, four and a half hours of work, which I'm tired, but it worked out really well. And there's not uh, too much garbage. It's mostly just um, construction debris, so lumber. And then we've sorted out all of the cinder blocks because yeah, that's what you have to do. And then, I don't know, I've set these big beams off to the side. I don't know. I might end up just having them go with everything else. They're nothing fancy. They're just old pressure-treated beams. So it's not like they're, you know, hand-hewn beams or something fancy. They're not. Probably they'll just go with everything else. But for the meantime, I did pick them out and set them off to the side. So we do have a big old hole to fill in here. There were two trees here that got dug out. And there's another hole over there where the other tree got dug out. So um, we'll have to put in some extra time making sure those are really packed in tight. That way we don't have any issues. Uh, stump holes are always bad. So we'll have to dig them out till we get to firm ground and then really pack them in with some good clay. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. We are able to get all this done. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and it does, it feels like this is some good clay underneath here. So it's really just the fact that it's in a low spot. We need to build it up. That way we get drainage and the water runs off because if you know anything about North Carolina, when it rains, it's insane. It just rains crazy here. And it doesn't come in little, you know, cute little quarter inch amounts. It comes two, three, four, seven inches at a time. So, but I'm done for today. And I took tomorrow off too, so tomorrow I'll be back out here getting back at it. I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, back at it today, and I couldn't have picked a better day to take a day off from work. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it might be 70 degrees, and there's a breeze, and this bright blue sunny sky these days. I thought yesterday was the day you dream of in North Carolina, but today is the day you dream of in North Carolina. So, got everything piled up yesterday. Felt like that was a huge win. Today's goal is to move this big pile, all the piles, but obviously this big pile, move it all up out front here. And that's gonna be way easier for it to get loaded out and it's out of the way. That's goal number one. I think that's just gonna take a few hours. Once we're gonna get that done, the, the big excavator is gonna get moved out of here because the batteries are finally getting charged up. We'll get that moved out of here and then it'll be put a bucket on the skid steer and start scraping off the remaining kind of garbage that's here. Little little bits of of lumber and then all that nasty goopy stuff that's on top, piling it up over there, it'll end up getting part of a bigger pile. Um, so that's gonna be today's goal. The other thing that might need to happen today is because it rained so much after we tilled those blueberry beds, the initial tilling, they might need to be retilled because it just, that rain came down so hard for so long, it's packed all that dirt back down and it's making it difficult to incorporate the native soil into that pine bark mulch. So might need to run up and down those rows real quick with the tiller to break that back up. That shouldn't take too long and that'll set Liz up for tomorrow, um, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning, we have to make a, an auction run, but tomorrow afternoon, um, for, for moving mulch and on Sunday for moving mulch. So that's the goal and we'll see how it goes.
Okay, it's lunchtime. I'm absolutely filthy. It's very dusty out here. But see behind me, pile's gone. And most of that pile's gone. All the other piles are mostly gone. Um, I don't know if it is this way in your life, but in my life, I often find that when you try to clean something up, you have to make a much bigger mess first and then clean it up. I remember when I was a kid, that was kind of overwhelming and I would get frustrated. But as an adult, I understand that sometimes, well, at least in my life, that's the way it's gotta be. So I had made an absolute mess and um, well, it's still kind of a mess, but the only way to make a cleaner area was to make a really big mess first. So starting to clear off all the dirt here. Still gotta move the big X and then we gotta deal with these stump holes. There's no exact spot where this barn has to go. Um, the pad's gonna be 64 by 60. So I'm gonna do my best to put it where I want it, but also if I can get in between the stump holes, that'd be great. But I mean, we're gonna pack them real hard. I, I'm not concerned about them long-term. But if we can avoid building over the top of the stump holes, that'd be great. And then we gotta start getting clay in here and build this up. It uh, runs off a lot. You can't tell from the camera, but uh, you know, from where the big X is to where the medium size excavator is, that's gotta run off probably two foot, maybe three foot. So um, a lot of clay, a lot of clay got, needs to get brought in. That way we have proper drainage. We don't want anything. Well, obviously it's gotta be level, but we also don't want it to be in a hole so that we don't have water issues. But I'm hungry, it's lunch. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Okay, I had to get a little creative on how to start the, the big X. I'll explain it in uh, probably in another video. I'm actually gonna do a whole separate video on what the problem is with the batteries and how to fix it. But I use the jump pack in connection with another battery. I got it running, which is great. It's not that it doesn't run, it's a battery issue. The things are super expensive. But anyway, while it's going, I gotta get this thing out of here. So let me get it moved. All right, we are on the move. So we're just gonna put this up over here out of the way for now, and then um, we're pretty much done with it at the moment. We'll deal with the battery issue another day. And then I can get that one little spot that was left where this was in the way, get that all scraped off, and that'll be done. Then we can get that staked out and ready to go. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think Liz climbing in the tractor. We go do some tractor work. And uh, short day today because we had, uh, we're off running on some some errands at the at the auction, so uh, we didn't get a lot done today. And then we're gonna be social tonight, which we're not normally, so that'll be a different. All right, so we're moving, we're tilling, as you can see behind me, and using the sickle bar to mow, which seems like it's working. So that is exciting. That's a very exciting development. It's great when you can do two things at once, am I right? <laughs> so, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, I tilled a few rows uh, to refresh the dirt. And I actually went back over some of the ones that are closest that I'll be adding mulch to today, just because I felt like, felt like I didn't quite refresh them enough yesterday. I also realized uh, yesterday I hadn't been fully throttled up as much as I should have. So I did that, refreshed them, so I came over to the tractor, the big tractor, and this is the setup we have. Uh, we have a little, a little generator and um, an inflator. So this is what we've been using and it got up to 35 PSI, so we are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this and hopefully the tractor will start and I can go ahead and start doing some mulch. I wish I'd filmed that, uh, it was, not starting for a second, but she started back up. So we are good to go. We're in the big tractor and we have this still very large mulch pile to just pick away at. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. One thing that I find interesting, maybe no one else will find interesting, is that, um, you know, this used to be a cattle farm back in the day. So part of what we're bringing back is a cattle farm, bringing it back to what it was. But um, it actually still smells like cow manure around here. 
especially where this barn was. So when I'm scraping off all this dirt, it's probably extremely fertile. Well, it is because the grass grows so good right here. Um, but it actually still smells like cow manure, even though I really have no idea how long it's been since really, you know, a fair amount of cattle have been on here. A little, little tidbit. Okay, now I know these things aren't, aren't toys. Um, we call them toys around here. They are fun, but this is like the best skill crane I've ever used in my life. I don't know if you guys have ever done skill crane. I'm sure you have. And trying to get the stuffed animals or whatever. I was just at Frankie's Fun Park with my kids like last week doing skill crane. Spent way too much money for, you know, a couple of stuffed animals that probably cost maybe 50 cents. Um, but that's fine, it's a, it was a lot of fun. And this is just like it, only on a bigger scale. And I think slightly more rewarding. go and I know probably what you're thinking is like is that the most efficient way to do this or can't you pick them up by hand not the most efficient way to do it and yes probably can't pick them up by hand but this is more fun and also it really helps me you know I'm very new to this I've been using an excavator for I don't know I maybe have five hours in an excavator it's ten hours in an excavator total so um, it really helps me get familiar with the controls and, and get better at it get you know much finer and and just it's it's really a difficult machine to use if, if you've ever watched let's dig 18 i have so much respect for him because that guy is like an expert he makes it look really easy and it's not um the only problem i run into is that the controls on the big x and this x are completely different so um this one i've used more and i'm much more familiar and comfortable with it but the big one uh, i forget which way they go and because they go in a different direction Anyway, I gotta get this pile cleared up. I'm probably gonna stop fooling around and um, work on something else just so we can get this cleared out. But that's what we're doing. We're just about wrapped up for the day and this lot will be done and ready to go. All right, there it is for the day. We are done just in time. I got time to go clean up and get out of here. But you can see, completely cleared out. Everything is gone. There's a little trash over there, but the building pad area completely cleared out. We got lots to work to do. It's um, hard as a parking lot out here, but we got to build it up. So tomorrow we'll be staking this out, figuring out where everything is going to go. And then it'll be time to order some clay. And uh, what do we have five weeks to go before the, the herons bring the new chick to the farm. Five weeks, not a lot of time. Seems like a, a lot. But it doesn't because we only work on the weekends and that's not a lot of time so hopefully we can get this done hopefully the weather holds out and we'll get it done and then we'll be able to go into that real clear that'll be good see you tomorrow all right before we get going on the building pad this morning i'm actually going to be out here mowing the 
weeds have just gotten out of control. So I'm gonna mow between all the rows. You can't even really, you can barely even see them. And the ones down in the lower half, you can't see at all. So I'm gonna go out here real quick and brush hog between all these rows. Got a little bit other mowing I need to do. And then we'll get to laying out the building pad. So I'm gonna get this done and then I'll see you when we do that. Okay, well, it's always something around here. So, um, I'll deal with that later. Let's get steers down for now. Uh, I got most of the field mode. Which is good, it would have been nice to get the whole field mode and it would be nice if the skid steer wasn't uh, having a bad day. But I think it just needs to cool down and, and address whatever's going on with it. So I got myself a long walk back up the hill here. Move on to other things. It's always something around here. All right, well, the skid steer's having its little pity party. I'm gonna work on trying to lay out this building pad. I got this 100 foot tape here. So, um, because I'm not building the actual building and we're, we're gonna have it built, it, this pad doesn't have to be perfectly square and exact because the pad's actually gonna be a lot bigger than the building so that they have flat surface to work on in order to build the building. So it needs to be 84 wide by 80 long and that gives them 10 feet on all sides in order to work. So I'm gonna just do some rough measurements just to try to figure out where we're gonna put it here. We got, you know, this whole area. I, I wanna stay away from the trees and figure out how far out we're gonna come. We have this big stump hole here and that stump hole over there. I mean, we can fill them in, obviously when they when they build other buildings the, and they clear lots they have stump holes they got to fill them in it works out so um i'd rather avoid it i don't think i'm going to be able to just because of where everything's going to need to go but i'm going to figure that out real quick and put some stakes in the ground so i can see it and i don't think this weekend i'm going to pull out the laser train to try to figure that out i'll probably do that for next weekend and then set up for the clay to be delivered the following weekend because I took another couple days off from work to be able to get that done. So I think that's gonna work out the best. So let me see if I can roughly figure out where everything's gotta go and then we'll look at it when I'm done. All right, I got it all cleared off and staked out. The four corners are staked. The diagonals were a little bit longer than my 100 foot tape, but I got it close enough again um, the pad site is quite a bit bigger than the actual barn that's going to get built. So I just need to make it roughly close. And then the builder is going to come in and get it to where it needs to be exactly on top of that pad. I really just wanted to make it parallel to the house. And so it's not in the trees. So it's come back from the trees a little bit. Can't do anything about the stump holes gonna have to fill them in and get them packed real tight it'll be fine it's gonna be fine yep but yeah it got it got it all done so i'm really excited about that and yeah that's it for the weekend it's been going so much faster than i expected <laughs> it really has I, i'm excited yeah we well we don't have a lot of time left no just a few weeks yep <laughs> um but really excited how quickly it's gone we've never taken on a project this big before no, not even close. and it's um I'm really impressed with what we've gotten done. Yeah, same. Yep, and we're still, you know, made some progress with the blueberry beds, Yep. which is always good. We have a little more time for that, but still good to make the progress with that while we can. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I, we're thinking in two weeks we'll have this pad done yeah. and ready to go. Which will be amazing, which will be still time before the baby comes. As long to as the chill. baby cooperates. <laughs> yes. Sometimes yeah. babies don't, but hopefully, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I feel really good about it. Same. I'm excited. Yep. Well, life's an adventure. Let's keep it that way.